Answer is 5476. Answer on this one should be 64. Answer is 125. Pick a number from 1 to 10. The winning numbers are 9 and 2. Objectives for today. To use the TI-83 Plus to solve for R, Theta, X, and Y in the polar coordinate plane as well as the rectangular coordinate plane. Example number one. Polar to rectangular, finding x. So the problem is, find x if you know the polar coordinate 5 and 3 pi over 4. However, you don't need graph paper for this. What you must do on your calculator is hit second, and then hit the apps button, which is below x, t, theta, n. When you do that, you'll come back with the angle menu. And remember, we are starting with a polar coordinate, so if you scroll down, you want to start with P. And that should be number 8. Or not number 8, but it should be number 7. And it should look like this. P, and then an arrow, uh, R, and then X. What you will do is hit that and it gives you this. You'll type in 5 comma 3 pi divided by 4 and then a parenthesis. Again that's 5 comma 3 and the pi button is the caret. You have to hit second caret to get pi. And then divided by 4 and then a right hand parenthesis. This is what you're entering into the calculator. What you're getting back is this. Rounding your answer to the nearest tenth, x would equal 5.0. Again, as a review, you're going to start with this point, and the problem is you're solving for x. <coughs> to do that, you must hit second, and then apps. That gives you the angle menu. You're choosing number 7, which is polar to rectangular and solving for x. It gives you this and the parentheses on the left-hand side. You will type in 5, comma, 3 pi divided by 4 and then a right-hand parentheses. What you get back is 4.99577277, but you're rounding to the tenths place, which gives you this answer of 5.0. Example number two, polar to rectangular, find x. So our uh, polar coordinate is 6 and 13 pi over 12, so you must go to second apps and choose 7 and come up with this. Enter in 6 comma 13 pi divided by 12, right hand parenthesis, and you should come back with an answer of what rounded to the tenths place. 6.0. Practice number one. Convert this to rectangular, but I only need the value for x. Bonus number one. Answer for this bonus is two. Bonus number two. Bring me the x value of the rectangular version of this coordinate should be negative 3. Solution for practice number 1. This answer should be 3. Extra credit number 1. Example 3. Finding y. 3 and 7 pi over 6. So again, you will hit second and then the apps button. When you do that, of course the angle menu comes up. You're looking for polar to rectangular and then you're solving for y. 
that would be number eight. So you'll do this, R, Y, and then you'll type in three and seven pi over six. So let's do that. Three comma seven pi over six. And come back with a value rounded to the tenths place of zero point two. Example number four. What is the y value of this problem? Answer is negative zero point four. Practice number three. Drop this off on the table up here. You're searching for y in the rectangular coordinate system. Bonus number five. Answer should be 0 0.2 for this one. Solution for practice number three. In this case, we're looking for y, so you need polar to rectangular y and type in negative 3, 11 pi over 6. So you'll hit second, apps, 8, negative 3, comma, 11 pi, divided by 6, and come back with an answer of negative 0 0.3. Extra credit number 2. Example number five, rectangular to polar, and this time we will be finding R. Rectangular to polar, finding R. The problem is 3, 2, so again, you're going to have to hit second, apps. You're going from rectangular to polar, and we are finding R. That would be number five. It looks like this, R, arrow, polar, and then R. And you'll type in 3, comma 2. If you do that, you should come back with a value of 3.6. Practice number 5. 10, 6. We're looking for the value of R when you convert to a polar coordinate. Bonus number 9. Find the value of R when you go from rectangular to polar. The answer for this bonus is 2.2. The solution for practice 5, we have 10, 6, and we're looking for R. So we'll hit second apps and then 5, type in 10, 6, and come back with a value of 11.7. Practice number 6. Let's convert this to polar coordinates, finding both r and theta. And still, r to theta is going to be number 6 in your calculator. So you have two things to do for this one. Find r and theta, and write it as r comma theta. Bonus number 11. For bonus 11, find the value of theta only. The answer on this one is 153.4 when you round to the tenths place. Solution for practice 6, negative 4, negative 7. You're going to type in R to P, and you're looking for the value of R, and then you'll do it again, R to P, looking for the value of theta. So we'll find theta first. And negative 4 comma negative 7 brings back the following. Negative 119.7. And then if we do this again for R, negative 4 comma negative 7, we get 8.1. If you come out with an answer that has a negative degree value, whether it be radians or degrees, if it's negative, you don't go this way. You don't go this way, you go the other way and count it off in reverse. So on that last answer, if you had a negative 119, for example, 
and these were all in degrees, you would go back this way 119 degrees and then mark it off instead of going this way. Extra credit number three. Extra credit number four. Homework assignment is the following.